what's up guys average kiwi guy here how y'all doing so e3 is pretty much on the way it's like normally like day minus one technically with ea going early this way and frankly that conference is pretty much a minus one almost anyway um and one of the weird things that happened with this with this uh conference is the supreme lack of battlefield 5 like they started it off with battlefield 5 but it felt like they had like two minutes and they showed like a multiplayer trailer that barely showed any multiplayer stuff and like gameplay wise and all that and they i mean they talked about some stuff and then they said oh yeah we got a battle royale mode coming but it's not gonna be ready for launch and it might be uh, a few months away so my bad we're out that 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 was it and it was like are you guys in trouble with ea or something do they not want you out there because that's what it feels like um like this is this is one of their big games coming up i mean it's not a big sports game it's not fifa or madden or anything like that like i mean that's that, that's the that's ea's big money makers right but battlefield's important you know dice is a big studio for them and i was shocked like general like the last sort of like three you know, like sort of two to three years they've been doing big chunks of gameplay like they'll either have like a like an actual uh full-on round of of um gameplay or like a tournament at the end or something like that this time they had nothing like the the way they released gameplay trailer like trailers for this uh for battlefield 5 was through nvidia and then sponsored videos with like jack frags and westy and all that like to use like the content creators had more to say about battlefield 5 than the actual freaking battlefield 5 people and also they gave the single player trailer stuff to uh xbox tomorrow which is what ea has been doing like they did it to anthem last year like i i, I swear xbox has got something on them I swear Microsoft has something on EA. It's like, hey, like you, you have to give us something. Like, or like, hey, here's some money. Here's, here's a little bit of, here's a little bit of, you know, money there. Give us something. Come on. Yeah, you know, that's what it feels like. It really does. Um, so yeah, like that, that was a little disappointing. Um, I mean, they showed off a few of the new mechanics and stuff, like the there's like some um, new movement mechanics. Like you can vault out of windows and stuff. Um, like crouching, like. The, you know, the crouching system seems a bit better the rolling system seems a bit better like all that stuff uh you can tow guns now with tanks and stuff like you can all i can like uh, all i want to do is like sneak up in like a little truck or something without a, like an enemy guy knowing hook up the, the like hook up the gun and then drive off with it and see what i can like if i can freaking like throw them off a cliff or something like that like, like that's the shit i do in battlefield right like i remember battlefield 4 like freaking sticking sticky bombs all over atvs and stuff and seeing them flying into the air and trying taking out helicopters and stuff like that that's that's what uh, that's my you know, like my uh, um definition of fun and battlefield stuff like the crazy shit that happens is some of the coolest i would like that but like the fact that like, okay you can tow stuff now i mean that's cool you can move defenses and all that but all right uh they also showed like the destructible yeah, the sort of destructible buildings and stuff now where like tanks can now like roll through buildings like okay not that tanks were like you know pretty you know powerful as they were i mean like obviously like good players will always know how to sort of take them out in a way um, especially if you got bad tank drivers and stuff but i mean like for us like me, me like me mr casual like battlefield like i'm like oh yay tank i can sit in a turret and kill a whole bunch of people and it you know makes me feel better that i'm not on the bottom of the table like that's generally what i do um so like that the fact that now they can like roll up through buildings now is also is cool but also very scary at the same time I'm like, okay, I've got nowhere to freaking hide now. Um, so yeah, that they sort of showed off stuff like that, and then they, you know, they they sort of went into this single player a little bit, how they're you know, going to go into some stories and stuff. I think they might be doing something similar to um, the Battlefield One, which is like they had those, you know, small sort of like they contain stories and stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to be exactly the same. We'll find out more tomorrow uh, with um, the Microsoft One. Like, okay um but 
yeah that th- it felt like you know you should really be talking about your game more and you should really be showing off about you know showing your game more like where's the actual gameplay stuff don't give us this like oh it's in-game footage like this is like cutscene shit and it's all like you know oh planes going down and doing this and doing that and, like freaking people going everywhere and like people's faces and stuff like that it's like play the show the actual game play you know someone's sitting down playing the game and what we will actually see you know that's the thing but we they didn't have that they didn't have that i was so shocked at the lack of battlefield 5 at this um conference i, I was thinking we were gonna see like nothing but that pretty much um but i mean they wanted to give a good amount of time to anthem and they put the rest of it they, they sort of just sort of threw battlefield 5 at the start and then chucked them off that was really it you know they wanted to get fifa on there so um but they're also i guess the big uh sort of news to come out of this one for battlefield 5 is that they are having a battle royale mode um which like honestly i was shocked when they announced battlefield 5 that that did not have it in it like it was not something they said um i thought that would be the whole like like as soon as battle royale started getting big like ea would be all over dice like hey you gotta make this damn thing have a battle royale mode we gotta have we gotta have those things like 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 the fortnites like the fortnites and the PUBGs and all the rest of it like we have to have that we want money you know stuff like that i i thought that was what you know we were gonna get like call of duty had done was um you know gonna have stuff like that you know I thought that was going to be a thing, but they said nothing when they announced it. I was like, oh, okay, well, maybe they got something else coming. Maybe they're going to have a Star Wars one. Like, I I honestly thought that was going to be something they were going to do. But Battlefield 5 comes out and goes, hey, yeah, we've got a Battle Royale, but it's about, you know, half a year away. Like, it's going to be later on down the way. Um, We may not even get it this year. Like, you know, Battlefield comes out in, like, October. I don't even think we're going to get it this year. Like, if you want to jump on a fad, you've like, and like gaming goes through this, they go through like, you know, a game will get really hot, get really big. And then everyone tries to make a copy of it, floods the market. So then someone else makes something different and that's the new thing uh, from there. So like, if you want to get on this, you better get on it now while it's hot. If you don't, you're going to get left behind. And that's kind of a very EA thing to do. Um, uh, IE Dawngate, rest in peace Dawngate um like you know, they, they tend to go after these popular genres a little late and they get late to the party and everyone's kind of moved on um and then they just sort of axe it and it's done um but i am kind of excited to see like i know fortnite's kind of getting to that point where it's kind of polished and it's getting there and stuff um i don't play it personally so i can't i can't detest that like i just i'm not into uh the battle royales as much as i think as everyone else is um i've played PUBG and all that um when it came out but um it'd be interesting to see having like a triple a game with the frostbite engine and all the rest of it do a battle royale like i think that's going to be the big thing is to see on that scale and see who else comes along to the party like that's going to be the thing too like all this competition and stuff which is good i love competition i love the variety i love seeing you know people going at each other and all that you just don't like you know PUBG had it for a long time and then fortnite came along and it's you know people and now people gravitated to fortnite like that competition grew a better game so now hopefully a more competition will grow even better games like that that's kind of what i want you don't want a monopoly you don't want something like that so i'm excited to see a battle royale in an engine like frostbite so it's gonna look beautiful um with all the mechanics and stuff of battlefield 5 i think it might be interesting it might be something that i might be you know more inclined to than maybe the likes of fortnite maybe the likes of PUBG and stuff which is a little you know fortnite's not really clanky but you know it can be in places um PUBG sure as hell can uh then i guess you throw in like h1z1 and all that um so i'm excited to see like what battlefield 5 can do um on the battle royale mode but i think it's a little late and it felt like when they announced it they're like oh yeah we have a battle royale mode and it was like they got told backstage by the big CEO vampire, like, yo, you have to have a battle royale in your game. And like, but sir, we've already done the game. I don't care. You're going to have to make one. Figure something out. Go out there and tell them you're making one. 
like that that's kind of what it felt like they, they had nothing to show they had no you know you know just like concept art they had nothing they had absolutely nothing on it so it feels like they just announced it and they're going to make it sometime this year that's really what it felt like so we'll see on that one but yeah it was it was a little weird for battlefield 5 it really was it was like what 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 do you like they go and they went on about the cosmetics and stuff they, they broke it down a little bit but it felt very short very short for battlefield 5 like it almost felt very short for dice in general like it almost felt like ba uh, battlefront 2 had more time than battlefield 5 like this is one of your big triple a titles coming out this year and you gave it like two minutes maybe a bit more than that uh, it's probably like five but you know for, for a point of emphasis like compared to everything else like i think even the indie games like freaking unraveled got more time unraveled got more time uh I, I don't know and the fact that you put the more interesting trailers out on you know freaking you know uh, you know sponsored videos and stuff like that like jack frags had more had more information on battlefield 5 than the ea conference that's that's that that's that that's what's insane about it um but yeah so look i'm i'll probably check out battlefield 5 when it comes out i'll definitely play the beta to see if it is my jam um i have said that like you know it's horrible to say like favorite wars and stuff but world war 2 is probably more along you know i'm used to it with you know growing up with those games and stuff um that you know every every war game was about world war 2 like that was just what it was um so it's probably more my jam that way um i like the cosmetic stuff i like how they got having a little more fun with it um the trailers themselves like i don't know it, some of these battlefront about well, you know some of these battlefield trailers have looked a little you know sort of flushed out like it the the, the detail hasn't seemed to be there but when you watch the gameplay trailers it looks a heck of a lot better so i don't know they need to work on that they need to work on that but we'll see the uh the single player stuff tomorrow and we'll be able to make a bit better judgment about it from there but yeah i mean ea come on y'all you gotta step up your game you gotta step up your game on this one all right guys that's gonna be it for us thank you very much for watching i appreciate it um if you are into all this e3 stuff i do have a video uh out for anthem as well uh, where we dive a little more into anthem which had a little more information than this one. Like it, it's a little bit um, lopsided on that one, but Anthem uh, had a little more to say. Um, and also we got a quick wrap up of the actual uh, conference too and how my sort of like quick overall feels of it all. Um, and yeah, if you did like the video, uh, hit, this, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Uh, that way you keep up with all the E3 stuff that's coming out and everything else afterwards. Um, uh, we are pushing for that thousand, so I'd appreciate it if you did. But yeah. All right, guys. Catch us later. Peace.